It's Ramsey Dewey. I'm here with Tin Yu and Fang at the Animal Gym in Shanghai, China. Ooh, check this place out. It's awesome. It's open now. <gasps> That's exciting. And we have a question from our friend, what was it? Satoshi? I don't remember. But he had a very cool question, which is, if you are doing submission grappling, not MMA specifically, but submission grappling, the guy is standing over you, you're here on the ground, what options do you have besides just pulling guard or entangling in some open guard and playing guard? Well, you got a bunch. So let's go over a, a few of those that I like to do. If I'm sitting up here, now don't do this in MMA. In MMA, I'm right next to his fists. I would want to keep my feet up. But in submission grappling, we have the luxury of getting up here. So one thing I love to do, especially if I sit up here, I get pretty close. If the guy starts reaching, is a fireman's carry. Did you know you can do that from the floor? A lot of people know about the kataguruma or fireman's carry from up here, right? But not everybody knows that you can do that right here. And I find it's actually easier. So let's break that down. He's standing over me and I'm gonna hook a leg and I'm going to grab this arm. I'm gonna tuck my head right here. You see that? And I'm gonna lean over and climb up on this side. Here, let's do that one more time from up here. This works really well if the guy starts reaching and hand fighting with you. So we're doing this whole hand fighting battle. Tuck, lean, boom. Kataguruma from the floor or fireman's carry. What else can you do? How about this one? We're sitting up here, we're hand fighting. Okay, let's break that one down. So what am I doing? I'm hand fighting, his hands are occupied, his mind is occupied with what we're touching right here. So very quickly, I'm gonna take my leg, shoot it between his legs, grip here, get this one behind, either grab this one or this one, drive forward off of this leg right here and get a takedown. What else can we do? How about from right here? Let's actually shoot for a double leg. Did you know you can do that? Yeah, we can shoot for a double leg from on the floor. You don't have as much power, but you're already right next to the hips. So again, we're right here. I need to penetrate the stance just like I would standing up. Shoot this knee between, get your wrists behind here, head on the outside, drive sideways, jump over the edge and work for a guard pass right there. Yes, you absolutely can do that. How about this one? We're up here, we're hand fighting. How about an Iminari roll? Yeah, everybody knows you can Iminari roll from standing up, right? But let's cut out the middleman. Let's just do that straight from the floor. You can generate enough power. It takes a little bit of power from the core, but really it's the momentum of a fall. The momentum of me falling on my side. So maybe I'll distract him up here by raising this hand in the same way that I would set up my Iminari by raising this hand, like focus up here, not down here, right? And I fall to the side. And there we go. We got our Iminari roll from the floor. So what else can we do? Well, there are a few guard options I like, but you don't just want to be caught in guard. You want to get on top, right? So how about, well, there's a sweep that puts me on top. Do you know that? The basic push-pull sweep. Again, this one is super basic. Grab the knee. Grab the, the um, what do we call this? The foot, the ankle. Place one foot on the hip. One foot behind the knee. Pull the knee. Push the hip. Pull the foot. All at the same time. Stand yourself back up one more time. Grab, push, and pull. Boom. Stand up, keep a hold of that to make it easier to pass. What else can we do from the guard as far as sweeps that put us on top as opposed to just tangling us up on the bottom? Well, how about let's play X guard? And we have so many X guard options. Okay. If you want X guard leading to a takedown to a single leg, for example, this is a great one, right? If you don't know what X guard is, I got a whole video about this, but I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to stand up with it. Okay. One more time. So try to try to stay standing. All right. Don't let me put you on the floor. All right. So I lift this up. 
just get up with it. Okay, again, go check out my x video. It's pretty comprehensive. What else can we do? How about an arm drag? Oh boy. Everyone who knows you can arm drag standing up. I made a recent video about oh my, this arm drag putting the guy on the floor. Okay. If the guy's intent to hand fight with you, especially if he's leaning over, great. Arm drag him from there. So the secret there is put your weight into it. Instead of just pulling with the strength of my arms, I'm going to use him to pull my butt up off the floor. Okay. Be careful with that one. So these are just a few options that I really like. Let's review one more time. So we're hand fighting. Fireman's carry, kataguruma. Hook the leg, drive in for the takedown. Shoot for the double leg. And pass the guard from there. What else do we have? Push, pull, sweep. Okay. X guard. Stand up on a single leg. All great options. Try those out. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.